I've had the script for this video ready a month ago. I was gonna record it today to announce something very exciting that's coming next weekend. And don't worry, it's not a product or anything that involves money. It's just something really cool that I've been looking forward to in 2023. But something happened yesterday that I thought would be a cool intro into what I'm talking about in this video. So I'm just gonna go off script for a bit. Yesterday, my sister gave me this beautiful gift from her travels to Europe. It's a beautiful guitar with Swarovski's crystals on it. And of course, once she gave it to me, I asked her, well, what is Swarovski's crystal? And that's when the room went silent. And I thought to myself, Ugh, Mustafa, not again. But it did happen. It's something that has happened across all my career as a professional musician. In case you don't know me, I'm a professional guitarist and ukulele with a bachelor's degree in guitar, master's degree in ukulele. I perform on stage, I have a YouTube channel, I make arrangements, I sell courses. I am a professional who uses music to make full-time income. And as a guitar player or ukulele player, there are certain music that you would think I'd know by heart or at least recognize but I don't. And this happens a lot in my career where I meet a new student or somebody who wants to interact with my channel or my art and they would say, oh, you're a guitar player. Do you know how to play? And then they would list an artist or a song name that I am supposed to know. And I'm talking about like top 10 famous songs from the 50s all the way to the 90s. We're talking like Sweet Home Alabama, Blackbird or Sweet Child of Mine, some Led Zeppelins and Beatles, ACDC, Prince or ABBA. And to be honest, I just don't know those songs or the artists themselves. And that just shocks whoever asks me and they go into disbelief. And to be honest, it kind of discredits me a little bit, but that's okay. Because while it might look like I'm musically illiterate, from my experience as a professional, there is something else at play here. So let's dive deeper into it, which will lead me into the announcement that I'm gonna make at the end of the video. Hi guys, just a quick intro in case we don't know each other in 2024. My name is Mustafa and this is MK Fingerstyle Academy where all the cool ukulele fingerstyle content is happening. Right here, right now, let's get into it. See, I immigrated to Canada when I was 15 years old. I came from Iraq and I was born under the rule of Saddam Hussein. And back then there were the economic sanctions imposed by the UN, which I believe started in the 89 or 1990 and continued all the way until the US invasion. Life was hard and access to culture beyond what my eyes can see was difficult. As a result, I and others in the same location and period as me had difficulty accessing what you would consider standard cultural knowledge in the West. Up to age 14, I still haven't heard of artists like Led Zeppelin, ABBA, Beatles, Prince, and so on. I kind of just have gotten introduced into heavy metal, so I knew Metallica, Jimi Hendrix, and all that. But that came entirely from me as a way to learn the guitar, part of the student culture that I was in in my high school. What I'm trying to say is, I didn't have a grandpa or a grandpa, an auntie or an uncle or a mom and dad that would expose me to this music because it was just not part of our lingo. And it was not part of the street culture that I was hanging out all the time. So when I started learning music age 19, I can truly say it started from a blank canvas. And that is okay. I was able to learn music, music theory, and learn a lot about artists that I would have never heard of. And now I know that all this music culture is part of what we call the Western tonal system or the Western music which is one body of music and there are many other bodies of music to learn and get exposed to that we don't have access to because most culture revolves around Western ideologies. I'm talking Netflix, Spotify, Hollywood, on all these powerhouses promoting Western culture. So the next time you approach a musician or an artist or anybody really, and you ask them all those questions about what you would consider is standard knowledge, I want you to know that yes, it is standard knowledge, Yes, everybody in the world should know them, but there are 8 billion people on the planet. Seven of them live under extremely different circumstances than the other 1 billion. So with that in mind, don't judge and convert that shock into an opportunity of engaging with that person. You might change their life. Speaking of which, you guys have changed mine since the beginning of this YouTube channel. When I started this YouTube channel, all the videos that I uploaded were videos of songs that I knew. But as you guys sent me messages and comments and requests, I started getting exposed to many different artists and many different genres and many different songs. And also as a professional who is on YouTube full time, I have to create videos that attract attention so I can maximize my exposure and introduce myself to people as a musician and introduce my business. Since again, I do this for my full 
full-time income to support my family. So with that in mind, here comes the announcement. I have always been bothered by my inability to name the members of the Beatles or not have any Beatles song on this channel. The Beatles are like the top when it comes to Western culture and Western knowledge and when it comes to music and pop music and songwriting. I have tons of respect for them, but I know nothing about the Beatles. And I'm gonna change that this Saturday. My name is Mustafa and this is MK Fingerstyle Academy and I have five Beatles songs coming to this channel ranging from beginner all the way to super advanced. So make sure to subscribe to not miss a single beat and I'll see you this Saturday with Yesterday.